I'm sitting here with Rachel Zocker from Walking Mountains, and I'm pretty excited because I was never lucky enough to be one of those kids that attended science camp, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Yeah, so we're really <laughs> excited. Our camp's open next week. I know school's been out for a little bit, but we've been busy training our staff, and we're almost ready to welcome all the kids, not only traveling to the valley, but a lot of kids who call the valley home. I mean, I'm amazed that 95% occupancy is already just like booked up for yeah. the science camp. So 95% full, but that does mean that we do have 5% full. Yeah. And so we are willing to work with a lot of families to see what is available to get and, kids in camp. And what kind of camps? Because we were talking a little bit about the sowing and seeds. Correct? Yeah, so we have some new sowing seeds programs this summer. Sowing seeds is a new program for us that we do during the school year at Brush Creek Elementary and Eagle Valley Elementary. But we are going to be bringing kids to our traditional programs, so getting them outside, hiking on the trails, but also combining garden education with that. And so we have a third, fourth grade growing artist. So it's kind of looking at the garden mm -hmm. from kind of a form of art and looking at places like the Betty Ford Botanical Gardens and seeing how they are not only growing things, but doing it for reasons other than food. Yeah, and how beautiful it is and everything is rearranged. Um, so it's like making kids green thumbs. Is there an age restriction? Like, could I come and join these games? Um, unfortunately, our <laughs> oldest campers are entering eighth grade. So I, I'm... You could try and pass, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, so we have camps <laughs> for kids entering kindergarten through eighth grade, a lot of different programs, single day programs, week long day camps, and then actually overnights in the 10th Mountain Huts. Wow. Overnights, that would be such a fun experience. When I went to middle school here, I, it was Minturn Middle still, and we used nice. to do those. It was the most fun thing. So parents that want something fun for your kid, do the 10th Mountain ones. We're actually headed tonight to a 10th Mountain Hut to train our staff. So I'm pretty excited that while running our camps is the best job in the valley, mm -hmm. I don't get to spend as much time outside. So we're excited to go for a little overnight of our own tonight. Yeah, I would imagine. Okay, so with all of this, so families visiting, they can put their kids in for one day, two days, mm -hmm. Kind of um, so unfortunately, it it's mostly a week-long program yeah. with a couple single-day programs that are actually full. Oh, I no. Know. Well, I mean, that's good for you guys, though. Good for us, and then hopefully to expand more in the future to allow more families the opportunity. And you guys do daily hikes, correct? Daily, daily guys. hikes. Yeah, so at all three of our locations, we're up and running for mm -hmm. summer. There's daily free guided hikes that you can join us at our center in Avon. Two o'clock every day, we're gonna have a naturalist ready to take you out, to take your family out, get a little nature education, get outside, enjoy the day. Um, I did not know there were three locations. Where are the other There two? are three locations. So up at the top of Eagle Bond Gondola, we run a nature center there. Right by the Ford Amphitheater, we have the Vail Nature Center, which is up and running. And now we have our, always, our center in Avon. <laughs> so a lot going on this summer. We are a busy, lot busy. going on this summer. You guys always have so much going on, but you always are bringing such fun activities for the entire family and then such great information. I went to the one about the clouds nice. and it was awesome. Definitely. There were so many things I didn't know that I learned that day, like how hail was made. I recently went to Science Behind Coffee and that was as a coffee drinker. Incredible. I would imagine that was incredible. Okay, so what is the best way for people to get in contact to get a little more information about camps? Walkingmountains.org is gonna be kind of like your go-to for all the information. We've got information about the camps, where we have space, but also information about just all the different programs we have going on right now. Rachel, thank you so much for coming in this morning and giving us all this great information. If you are looking for something perfect to do with your children this summer, if they're intrigued by nature and all of its offers, Get in touch with Rocky, Walking Mountain Science Center and get your kids enrolled in the science camps. Coming up next, we're going to check in with Eric and see what he's got going on.